So, you have worked so hard on this drawing and spent hours shading and developing a masterpiece. But wait, something doesn't look right. Your accuracy and proportions are completely off. You are watching Draw With Me BA Art, and today I will share with you three ways on how you can make your drawing more accurate. What does it mean to have an accurate drawing? Well, it means that your drawing has similar proportions and sizes to your reference photo. Not having good accuracy in your drawing can really affect the realism and quality in your drawing. You don't want your drawing to look like this. That is why the best way to get accurate results in your drawing is to create a light sketch before adding value. So let's get started. The items you'll need are a sketchbook or sketch paper. Make sure to use paper that is made specifically for drawing a 4H pencil to draw as light as possible, a hard eraser and a kneadable eraser, and of course a ruler. The first method I like to use is called the shape method. This method is about seeing your reference photo in shapes. I added shapes over my reference photo to match the shape of my subject as close as possible. When I begin drawing, I start drawing the shapes first and then I will go back and add the outline using the shapes as a guide. After I'm done with my outline, I erase the shapes to reveal my subject. And there is our first method complete. The next method is called the X and Y axis method. This is where you draw an X and Y axis grid over your reference photo. You then do the same thing over your sketch paper. I mark each centimeter as I draw the grid. take certain reference points and mark them on my drawing. For example, my reference points are the top of the beak, the forehead, and where his head ends and body begins. I use these reference points as a guide when creating my sketch. And that is our finished outline. The last method I'm going to talk about is the grid method. This method can take a little bit longer than the other two, but it will give you the best results. This is where you place a grid over your reference photo and draw that same grid over your sketch paper. You then focus on drawing one square at a time. This will make your accuracy much easier to achieve and it helps you to practice your observation skills. And now we have a finished sketch. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to watch some of my other videos.